dream. This is really happening. <laughs> Welcome to all of them witches. I'm Eleanor Kagan. And I'm Ksenia Yarosh. <laughs> I'm so happy you're all here. Um, we host a film podcast called Bonnie and Maud, where we sit around my apartment and talk about movies from a lady perspective. Femme-centric. And um, sometimes we like to bring that to the stage and see your faces and delve deeply into a certain topic. Uh, the topic tonight is witches. As you may all know. As you may have guessed. I wanted to do a little kind of like icebreaker with you guys, I guess. I know like icebreaker has a bad rap, but this will be fun. So <laughs> on the count of three, I would love for all of you to shout the name of your favorite witch or your favorite witch movie, right? <laughs> On the count of three, I know you're very excited. I am too. All right, you guys, everyone has a witch in their head or a witch movie? Yes? All right, Someone ready? Someone who really inspires you. It can be embarrassing. It's okay. Mine's super <laughs> nerdy. All right, one, two, three. Samantha! Whoa! Awesome. <laughs> I feel like we have this like energy amongst us now and we're all sort of like in a dialogue. Well, so I was speaking good. to an audience member earlier and he was saying how like there's such great vibes here that it's almost like we created our own coven. <laughs> Which makes oh. me feel really good. Yeah, me too. And the thing about witches is like there's so many kinds of witches. There's so much to talk about about witchcraft history, like real witchcraft history, like we know Real witches, dark, like witches. dark, dark history. And we're not going to try to cover that all tonight because there's just too much to go through. So we're mainly focusing on the way that witches are being portrayed in pop culture and film and television and evaluating those. Are they good representations of witches? Are they bad representations of witches? How mm. close are they to witches that you all know in your what lives? What does a good versus bad witch even mean? So those are some of the questions we're going to be attempting to answer. We all have history with witchcraft. You know, every one of us, I think, does. Um, so that's me at age seven um, for Halloween. I was dressed as a witch. Uh, note the hat, note the broom. My mom stitched that costume. She made it from scratch. Um, she put a wart on my face and uh, made my eyebrows really I kind that of was like... a beauty mark. <laughs> sure. I got Joan Crawford eyebrows and everything. And um, then I went to school, and this is my second grade teacher, Miss Waller. Um, she read us The Witches by Roald Dahl. This book scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Did you guys love it? I don't know. I it love was that so book. scary. <laughs> it was terrifying. I had to be taken out of the room. This is true. Um, but that kind of kicked off. I'm glad off. you're so comfortable now that we can talk about I witches. Know. You're okay. It's okay. I'll hold your hand through the whole Thank show. Thank you. It kind of kicked off like a fascination with horror, I would say. Um, I've had a really weird fascination with horror where like women tend to scare me the most in horror movies, which is clearly something I will like work out in therapy eventually. <laughs> but like, I don't know, like the woman that pops out of the diner in uh, Mulholland Drive, or like, do you remember all the creepy drawings that Stephen Gamel did for the scary stories to tell in the dark books? Yes. Weren't the women the scariest with their scraggly hair and like well, their and weird the warts that turned into a spider nest? That was the worst <laughs> one. I loved those books. But you know, I I wonder why women, and then why do they scare me? Mm -hmm. But I'm fascinated by them. Then I discovered Buffy. <laughs> and Willow is like the greatest human witch to ever exist. And that made me very happy. And suddenly I saw that witches could be super cool. Mm -hmm. What about you, Ksenia? Um, I, well, when thinking about the show, it was like, what is a witch even? Like, what are the parameters of witchcraft? Because, you know, how much magic is required? Like, is <laughs> Matilda you know, from Roald Dahl as well, is she a witch? What about like Alex Mack from that Nickelodeon show? Like she turns into liquid. I think for a long time, like in witch history, it was the accusers who were pinpointing who the witches were. Um, and what's interesting when we started watching these films in preparation for the show is like, 
there's almost always a moment where the woman is like, I am a witch. <laughs> and I think that's a really interesting transformation and the taking ownership of like, this is what I can do and I am a witch. Yeah, women using magic in film is awesome. I mean, and it also winds up commenting a lot on female power and what that means and what it can be used for, for better or worse. I mean, obviously film can be rife with stereotype. Often it can be very illuminating in strange ways. I mean, rewatching movies like Rosemary's Baby or even Carrie or even The Exorcist, it all seems to be, you know, adult fear of teen girls or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, looking at a woman and trying to control her and her having to sort of figure out how to rise above that. Uh, so this is what really interests me, I think, about witch movies, even though they can be scary. Uh, but I can get past that if it's a theme I can really dig into. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for reminding me rec recently that in The Exorcist, uh, part of her becoming demonized is her using a Ouija board. Yes. And there's so many scenes, again, in preparation for the show where we saw women using Ouija boards. Um, and there's something about like hands and like women using their arms and hands to do magic, um, which I found really fascinating. Yes, Ouija is a theme that will come up later in the show. We have an amazing show for you guys tonight. We have a bunch of presenters who are gonna come up here and talk about you know, witchcraft in their own life through pop culture, using pop culture, digging into certain films that I know you all love, The Craft, American Horror Story Coven, um, Buffy, as I mentioned, and many, many, many more.